evaluating and making judgments. Welcome to my class and welcome to my channel. Today, we are to discuss evaluating and making judgments from our Pivot for a Learner's Material, English 10, Quarter 1. I am your subject teacher, Dr. Jana Ray V. Consignado, and I hope you prepared the following materials, notebook, paper, pen, and of course, our Pivot for a Learner's Material, English 10, Quarter 1. Our learning objective, establish a sense of objectivity in evaluating a picture, text, and or performance using a set of criteria. Evaluating and making judgments. In making judgments, it is necessary that evaluators form the sense of objectivity. Being objective means being fair. There is no presence of bias. Personal feelings are detached from the act of judgment. Giving judgment varies from images, media, text, and images. Judging these complex works or performances becomes easier with the help of criteria. These criteria guide the evaluators on the scope and limitation of what to judge or examine. Basically, criteria are a set of standards and or principles considered in judging a particular work, output, or performance. They may vary depending on the what is to be judged or evaluated. That is, criteria in evaluating an essay may be different in evaluating a song. The most common indicators in evaluating a text include the following. We have content, cohesion, grammar, mechanics, word choice, and tone. Number one is content. This refers to the idea, concept, focus, or details of the subject matter as discussed in text. Number two, cohesion. This refers to the connection and organization of words, phrases, ideas, and concepts presented in the text. Number three, grammar. This deals with fluency and accuracy in terms of language structure and facility. Number four, mechanics. It refers to accuracy in punctuations and capitalization. Number five, word choice. It deals with appropriateness of words, especially in terms of depth and level of formality. And number six, tone. It refers to the emotion or feelings attached as expressed by the text. Though there are still other points to consider in evaluating texts, these six indicators are the most common criteria. Our reference, English Grade 10, Pivot for A Learner's Material, Quarter 1, First Edition, 2020. Do you have question? Kindly utilize our comment section. Handang isip, handa bukas. Sama-sama sa pagsulong ng edukalidad. I am Miss January Consignado and please subscribe to our channel because next time, I will be uploading again our topic in English 10. Thank you! Stay safe, stay strong, 
Bye-bye!